Hello again, YouTubers and Card Fight fans. 24 7 here again for Card Fight 24 7 with another Card Fight Vanguard box opening video brought to you by CardFightCapital.com, your top source for everything Vanguard. Today's box opening is our fourth box on this channel of BT07, Rampage of the Beast King. If you want to see the commons in this set, watch box number one and or box number two of our openings of this set. In this box opening, as well as box three, we will open every pack, but we will show only the rare for sake of time and avoiding some repetitiveness. And then after this box opening, we'll do box five, six, seven, eight, one video, and so on. So, there's our Alfred Early promo as we get in every box. We'll start on the right side this time. Last box, we had one triple rare on the right side, everything else on the left side. So, we'll try to save the best for last here if it repeats itself, but no guarantees. So, let's get into it here. First pack Dumbbell Kangaroo, Great Nature. Again, if you don't know, Great Nature is heavily featured in this set, good or bad. I've never seen Great Nature played locally, at least, so. Anyways, Thermometer Draft, Great Nature. Another Dumbbell Kangaroo already. So, three packs in, we already got a duplicate rare. That's a good sign. <laughs> and Hades Carriage Luchin Hour. Got two of that in our previous box opening. Only got one OTT single rare, and there's at least three or four different OTT cards that are single rare in the set. Magna Crocodile, had two of that last box as well. There we go. Listener of Truth, Dindrain, Gold Paladin, Double Rare. That actually might be the most expensive Double Rare in this set, if I remember correctly. So that is a solid pull. More expensive than a lot of the Triple Rares in this set. And there is the ability for you. So, not too bad of an opening pull. Now we'll see if maybe the right side will end up having all the pulls here. <laughs> maybe. Fire Breeze Carry of Pale Moon. Last box on the left hand side, we had double rares in three straight packs. Seeing if we can do that again here, but on the right side. If this pack has a double rare, then it'll be three in a row again. But it does not. Midnight Invader, Pale Moon. Tank Mouse, Great Nature. I think this box will be more evenly distributed. Ah, nice. Silver Thorn Dragon Tamer Lucier of Pale Moon. It's one of the most expensive cards in the set. I think it's actually more expensive as of when I'm opening this than the Pelinor is, which we had last box. There is all the abilities for you. Very nice. Yeah, that Pelinor. Um, the uh, nurse thing for Angel Feather. I think those are the three most expensive triple rares in the set. And there's our double rare, Monoculus Tiger, Great Nature. That one has minimal value though. So let's see, that's four hits so far. With three packs left here on the right side. Magna Crocodile again. Fourth one in a box and a half here. Pencil Squire, Ham Suki, Great Nature. And last pack of the right hand side gives us Purple Trapezist, a solid single rare. So this box is actually pretty equal. We got four hits on the right side, one triple and three doubles. So we got two doubles and two triple rares or above left to find. By above, I mean potential of an SP. I don't think we got an SP yet in this case, but could be mistaken. There's a yellow bolt double rare. Solid. As far as double rares go, about average value, I guess. It's not the high end, but it's not like a $1 or $2 double rare like a lot of them are. So, it's a mid-range double rare, I guess you'd say. Tank Mouse, Great Nature. I think that's our fourth of him in the last two boxes as well. Those OTT single rares are being pretty elusive. Evil Eye Basilisk. Dark Irregulars had two of that last box. Bullseye Maya, Pale Moon. Come on. Emerald Witch Lala, Oracle Think Tank, Triple Rare. That one's a lower end triple, I believe. You can pause there and read what it all does if you wish. 
a grade one OTT. So I see so you got one triple and one double left, I think. If I didn't lose track. Another purple trap beesist. Our fourth of that in two boxes, but at least that one's got some value and demand with it. Great nature stuff overall, not a whole lot. Penzo Squire Hamsuki, great nature. There we go. Oh, thought that was something higher. Flask Marmoset, great nature. False alarm. Evil Eye Basilisk again, Dark Irregulars. Midnight Invader, Pale Moon. Hades, Carriage of the Witching Hour, Dark Irregulars. There we go. Triple Rare, Dark Lord of Abyss. Got that last box as well. That's another lower end triple rare. So we had one good triple rare in there in the Lukir. The other two, meh. So two packs to go. Battle Sister Glace. There's finally an OTT single rare. That's not the starting Vanguard. That one gains 3,000 attack when it's attacking if you have no soul. Photon Archer Grifflet of Gold Paladin. First one of those in the last couple boxes. So finally some different single rares to end on here. Cording Succubus, Dark Irregulars. Had just one of that last box in the very last pack. And final pack, we got Cable Sheep, Great Nature Pea Guard. Decent way to end things. So quick recap here then. Put the triples to the back right quick. We got Cable Sheep, the Great Nature Pea Guard. Yellow Bolt of Dark Irregulars. Monoculus Tiger of Great Nature, Fire Breeze Carry of Pale Moon, and Listener of Truth Dindrain of Gold Paladin. Probably our best double rare and better than two of the triple rares we got value wise. Triple rares are Dark Lord of Abyss, Emerald Witch Lala, and our best pull of the box probably, Silver Thorn Dragon Tamer Lukier. So subscribe if you haven't already. Give us a big thumbs up for a great Card Fight Vanguard box opening video. Check out CardFightCapital.com for all your Card Fight Vanguard needs. Full e-commerce of singles, boxes, and more, along with forums, Card of the Day, uh, blogs, etc. And also find links for that along with our Facebook pages and our Twitter in the description box below. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next video.